and welcome to our Parish Council meeting, first of the year, first of 2024. How exciting is that? Mm. Um, jo? Yes? <laughs> I'm not pulling a face. <laughs> um, <laughs> I won't have any faces pulled. My, my face is always like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've got your ticket for the way. Um, anyway, good evening and welcome to anybody who, has, who we have no members of the public as such. We have no members of the public as such. I'd like to welcome Lorraine Lester, one of the applicants for uh, Parish Council. Very pleased to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, there is nobody else. So we'll carry on and start with the meeting straight away at 7 01. Everyone someone Did you want to say anything, Ray? No, it's fine. I'm just going to look and listen. Watch and learn. Anything from the gallery? <laughs> um, we do normally have an open forum of 15 minutes and Normally there's not hundreds of people here who come to the parish council meeting, but sometimes there are some. And if they've got something that's on the agenda that they would like to bring up and talk about, and this is that opportunity there to come and talk to us and bring the item up, it won't necessarily be answered, but it, if it's on the agenda, it will then be discussed later on in the meeting, and a response will then be sent to the person um, hopefully the following day, or as near to possible as, as then. Um, our, our security cameras are in need of replacement, so at the moment we can't see if anybody's at the door. Is that one there? Yeah. Hi, Khadija. Hi. Sorry. Right um, Can I receive and accept any apologies for absence? Uh, uh, Steve, Steve Williams. Steve Williams. Thank you. Anybody else? Otherwise, we are all here. Um, any declarations of interest that's on the agenda? Could you say that again? Sorry. Are there, well, we're on to number two. Yes. Uh, Village Fate. Yes, I'm, I'm on the committee. So. Right. That's um, the GH for the Fate and AM for the Fate. Anybody else for anything that's on the agenda? No? Thank you very much. Uh, 03, any dispensations granted, which is all zero. Um, 04, the Councillor Vacancy to consider the application. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just. We have two. Oh, we've got two applications. We've only got one vacancy, haven't we? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for your for your application. Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything you'd like to say? No, just I've lived at the village for twenty years. Just like sort of be part of its future, really, and sort of help it progress. Very welcome. And we have got two, and because we've got two, we are going to have we're going to have to have a secret ballot to um, choose who we have. Are we, do we have that at this point, Carla? Oh, do you know what? I don't know. Can anybody remember? When it I think we do it in the closed part. I think you do it in the closed part, yeah, in the... In the I think it was a piece yeah. of paper, if I remember correctly. We will do, we'll do yeah. it. What we'll do, Lorraine, is we'll, we'll, have a close, we'll have a talk about this. Yeah, no problem. Have a um, closed ballot in the exclusion sections, which, which comes at a certain part. Have you been given a, a um, agenda? <laughs> if you have a look on that, at the exclusion, oh, if you have a look at that, um, it comes to exclusion. And that's a part where we discuss things that cannot be discussed in the open. They're confidential items. You know, it's things about anything on them. 
How, so how long fun take just up a your... Sorry. Sorry. Anthony. Yes, uh, could we, uh, could, are we able to ask questions from Miss Lester at this point? Before, obviously we can't discuss, but could we ask questions regarding anything? We'll close, the meeting. We'll close the meeting at 7.05 if you would like to ask questions. Are councillors agreeable to closing the meeting at 7.05 to ask questions about Lorraine from, from Lorraine? Okay. Yeah. If you were successful, what do you think you would bring to the parish council? Um, as I put in my notes, I'm quite methodical thinking, quite open-minded, think out of the box. So I hope that I would have a good general or output on all, all areas, really. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Fine. Well, this should be an open meeting because, yeah, what, when do we all come up for election again? I know there's one... Yeah, you know, sort of the 2020, uh, where are we, 2024, 20, oh, so we, we, we've got a while before, we yeah, I, I thought as we, you know, as we've got more than one person applying, yeah. Jeff? I'm just curious, Lorraine, and it's not a test. I'm already under pressure. Do you know, <laughs> do you know the main things that the, the, that the council does? Not, not fully, that's why I've come down to listen and learn and, and get to know what's going on. <coughs> Lovely, Lorraine. Anything else anybody would like to ask Lorraine? We sent Lorraine the full pack, so <coughs> Lorraine has the full knowledge of the parish council, how it works, how we have a main meeting every once a month, every fourth third Thursday, ENA, environmental amenities, and the various groups that committed she could go on if she wanted to, to, to be part of all of this. Um, is there anything you'd like to ask of us, Lorraine, before I close? Not at the moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Close the meeting at 7.07. And we will be in touch with you yeah. with the result of that. Um, you've got the report from the County and District um, Oakside. Have we had apologies from Edna? No. Um, anything anybody wants to ask the District Councillor? Yes, one question. There's, I don't know, not for, for you to answer tonight, obviously, but there's some new recycling um, toothpaste bottles available. Are you able to find out if they're recyclable by South Cowns? Toothpaste bottles? Yeah, I know, it, it's odd. I can't find anything on the website about them. Colgate and a couple of other ones have put recyclable on them. They've got this big green tick on them, and I've got a couple at home which will eventually be used. But I don't want to put it in the wrong bin, and there's nothing on the website that says whether these new Colgate tubes... I'll send you a picture Col if you Colgate want. Colgate it. Yes, okay. I'll, I'll send you a picture. But it's okay, just okay. a mild question, because I just couldn't understand what to do with it. Very strange. Thanks very much for that. That would be useful. Righto. Um, Hello. Sorry, Jeff. No, sorry, it's sorry. okay. I didn't know. As the district council, southern council. I noticed there were originally a lot of pink bags. Is that the council... Yeah. 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 rubbish bags yeah. all around dotted around the outside ring road. Are we doing Poss litter picks? Possibly litter picking. So have we been informed of anything? Oh, no. Did the council normally use red bags in Cambridge, don't they? I don't know, but they've been there for a number of days. Mm. But no, has week. anybody reported this? Nobody's reported it. Yes, there's if one. If you in see the... things like that, could you please report to yeah, the I just, clerk? Yeah, I just noticed it over the last two or three days. I, I saw one, I thought, oh, someone's going to pick it up, but they haven't. And they're, then you drive around the ring road, they're spotted all around. That the is road. shocking because that means that animals can get to them, yeah. then it gets spread all over <coughs> the road. Please, anybody, report something straight away. They were last week. Okay. Right. Yeah, Viking Way. At the end of Viking Way, yeah. Yeah. and then a day or two later, they were gone. Because I was going to open them up, I stopped and took a photo actually of them, and I was going to report them to you. But the next day they went. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and it's some of rubbish has been the large bottles, you know, five litre plastic bottles they're picked up out of the bracken or something. They were all leaves and dirt. On. Yeah. No, some are still there, I think. I think I saw some. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was waiting Friday to come around. We've got, we've got our regular chat who comes round on Friday yeah. tomorrow. And um, what we'll do is try and ask okay. to put them anyway. in his van. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, who would we contact, by the way, if we do see South Camp. Uh, South Camp. Talk to Carla and she'll get okay. straight onto it. Right. Carla or Kate? Just, just one thing from me, kind of 
Is there any, I thought the properties on the hotel site were due to be handed over at the beginning of December. I read somewhere that the company, the construction company had gone bust. But I just think it's, it's a, well I think kind of, I made a freedom of information request. There are over 2,000 people in South Cairns on the social housing list. And I think to have had those properties under construction for so many years, and now they're kind of they're still not occupied, and we've got all of those people looking for a home. I think kind of can we not put some pressure on somebody to get it done? I have. I've asked. I asked her because I said we uh, residents need to know what is happening with those. And what did I have a response, Colin? Yeah, I th it's gone into the um, Bar Hill News. That's your response or your your song quote that you put in Cindy. regarding the. Um, yeah, they're wait. They're waiting for they're waiting for new people to they're waiting for new people to take over and um, then they'll be released to whoever. They've not given any time frame. No, no. Uh, you're right, it was the first of December. But because they're going into administration, it's um, I think their hands are tied <coughs> in trying to get somebody to finish it all off. Mm. Yeah. I know it's not a it's not a good it's not good, it's not good for them. It would be nice to have the hall, you know, the, the boarded fencing Absolutely. down. Absolutely, but it's not finished, you see, mm -hmm. so they're fine. No. Not fair. Yes, they Jeff. have got security in there. Jeff? What? Yes, Jeff. I didn't say anything. Was it, oh sorry, was it you? Yeah, it was me, I thought you had his hand up first. I didn't see the notice. I my hand up. No. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, two things. Um, one is, I did ask Malcolm and Carla as part of the FNP to look into what was happening with the S106 money. Oh, I can answer that. Um, which is, I'm going to say that maybe we should ask at this point regarding that. So, uh, Malcolm? The S106 liability is with the with Sanctuary. It is with the finished person. It is not with the contractor. The contract for Wellington <coughs> are, in effect, subcontractors to Sanctuary. So, I am assured by SCDC that um, once it's finished then it's the normal procedure for getting the S106 money out of sanctuary. Thank you. Once we have tenants in there. When it's finished. Yeah. yeah. Is that, is that? Well some, there are yes. actually sufficient tenants now proportionately but they won't do a thing until the other properties of flats are finished. This, uh, this is more county council funding, but I don't know if you can give an answer. Um, the residents of the hotel are slowly going to other places. Uh, do you know, is it going to be the to hotel going to revert back to a hotel, or are we going to have some more visitors? I don't think we can say anything at the moment, because as some go, some more will come in. Mm. So some more will come in. Yeah, but they're right. coming as they go, they're coming in. So yeah. our hotel, not at the moment. Right. You do raise a good point that additional donations might be needed at that point, however. So obviously oh, I think we Anthony, should Anthony, Anthony, if open. you saw their storeroom. Yeah. No. Oh, I haven't seen their storeroom, but um no. yeah, so this is some specialist request. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's move on. Um O six. To confirm as a correct record the minutes of the meeting held on the 14th of December, could I have a proposal in the second uh, Jeff and Khadija. Everybody in agreement? Everybody happy? Yep. Thank you. Um, Clark's report. Um, so, Kemsha Acre membership, just need to look at renewing that for another year. Um, it is quite handy and helpful to be a member of that. Group. Um, I'm in the processes of completing my <coughs> Clarks and Knowledge training with Kapow. I had my first session um, yesterday and I'm due to have the second part of that next week. Um, autumn tree works are ongoing and they're going well. They're not going to be doing much more in terms of heights of trees for a couple of weeks yet, but they are, you'll see them around the village, Luke Hamill and his lot, just working on the trees and things. So that's just an ongoing thing right now. Um, there's going to be login details for the councillor page of the website. They're now ready and I'll send them out to everybody individually starting probably next week. So for the next meeting, everything relating to the meeting will go on to the councillor web page part. So you can all log in and see that individually. Um, 
and that gives us time to iron out any issues. So if we've got any login issues, we can try and iron all that out. So they'll go out probably next week. Um, I've ordered the tree for the six three trees, so that should arrive at some point. It's a potted silver birch. So we just need to decide where that's going at some point. Um, and the MVA signs application has now been submitted. So we'll just wait to hear on that. And can I just say thank you to you, Graham, for all yes. the work done on that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank be positive. Uh, um, as far as the uh, website, the details, you can put the subcommittee stuff on there, like the A and E and the S and P, those papers as well, not just the full. No, paper. everything will go on there. Yeah. Everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything relating to meetings, etc., will go on there. So you can all log in with your credentials and have a look. So hopefully that will work. And will when the documents are on electronically, will they then be put on the parish council website for residents as well? Yes. Okay. <coughs> yes. Uh, have you paid the no, not yet. Do you want that to be posted? You can just do that. We'll just do it. We'll just do it. Yeah. yeah, it was just no, no, no. It was just really to you know the let you know that that voice normally comes in in the hall. Yeah. So um, yeah, sorry, Warren. Just a quick question. Have you got anything back from Danny about the? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's your is the answer to that. Yeah, <laughs> no, maybe I'm going to ask you to answer the question. <laughs> the trees by yeah. the skate park. Yeah. That were due to be down a Right. I'm sorry, sir. I was hoping to hear you. Oh, sorry. Um, it, it, it said about the things we've got confirmation of the votes. Is that the fair? Fair. Is this the fake or the fair? Fair. 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 I haven't seen okay. anything regarding that. Oh, look, in it case says, it's got. Uh, four four loons will be ordered, but not until we've got confirmation from the parish council that they are the fair. <coughs> Could you just check the um, the email address because we're getting so many we're going to the wrong email address. Wrong email address. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know where they sent it. I just asked Rob to send it. Right. Because they are. Busy. I haven't you received it, anything. Do you want it for, soon to forward I'll, that one? I'll send that to you. Later. Can you? Yeah, yeah. Please. So you've got it. But yeah. They, they, they want to get their order in. And I, yeah, that's fine. I yeah. That's obviously. I know no. that some some people are sending to me. Mm. Um, the wrong email address. Okay. Mm. Anybody got anything else, Clark, before? Uh, we'll move on to 08 Finance. I'm going to hand over to Martin Cox now. Can I very, very quickly get through these? 08 24.1, um, so the extension payments to the bank reconciliation, everybody happy? Can I have a... Closer and seconder, please, hand Excuse up. me. For me, there's a little bit of confusion as to what was what. That's basically the one that was on the Excel spreadsheet. That could be past that one. Pardon? That's my working one. Oh, sorry, no, that's the, no. That's, that's the receipts and payments, yes. yes. That's, that's the one we're discussing. Yes, that's okay. why I can't do it inscribed in that. Place. No, I'm just saying, uh, yeah, I don't know which one's the which. That's the one we're discussing. That's the one that's got receipts and payments yeah. um, at the top. Um, um, proposal and seconder, please, Warren and Graham Ellingham. Everybody in agreement? Thank you. The account, um, 24.2. I hope you've had. The scribe version that we've always had, the month for month ones. I also put in this month one which is a little bit more perhaps easier to read. Um, this is the second one you've got okay. there, Tom. Okay. Which does uh, just show income and expenditure broken down a little bit easier, I think, than the whole big sheet. Okay, so. 
everybody want all this paperwork each month? Yeah. I, have a, I have a comment. Uh, yes, Jeff. About your paperwork. Uh, I'm just going to stand up because I've uh, <laughs> tried to go through this one and this one and try to reconcile between the two. And there are some agreements at some point, but there's some things that I don't understand why they are. Uh, also, in terms of things where we're spending so much on telephone and broadband, which is 55 something or other, 52 or something, every month, but yet when you get on here, it doesn't show that same number. I propose that I would sit down with Malcolm, go through everything that I have a problem, write a report for the next F&P meeting, so that we know what it is, and make some suggestions as how we can simplify this, because I don't think, if any of you have read this, I'd like to know who's read this and really understands it, because I spent two hours on it today, trying to... Put it all together. That's why it's all cut and paste. Under scribe, you have current year's income or current year's budget, and you have reserves, i.e., stuff that you brought forward. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, they don't amalgamate them. On the, okay, well, on why the don't we sit down and we can go through this? Because I don't I want to drag it up here. Then. I'll second that. So, it was, uh, so we'll set a time, and I don't know yeah. when the next FMP okay. is. Thank you. Yes, um, I was going to suggest that um, I would also attend that particular meeting. Right. It's not a bad idea for the chair and vice chair to have a greater understanding of our accounts by any means. I, I do understand it, but I also accept that the formatting used by Scribe is not the most <coughs> straightforward system in the world. I get it, but it's annoying. Um, and I don't know if there is a way in Scribe to make it less annoying, well, unfortunately. Um, as for... The uh, original question I'm going to ask is regarding staff costs. Could I ask uh, if we are anticipating next year to spend more on staff training than we did this year? Cetris Paribus, of course, all things being equal. Um, I suppose the answer to that is not a lot because we spent some money last year on, um, on staff training. The same amount we could spend this year with our clerk training. Um, in the budget, I allow for <coughs> yeah, I allow for um, training for new councillors for the parish clerk and her assistant, and we up to that figure, and that was basically it. So there's. Um, there's 500 for council training, the rest of it really is for the parish clerk to come up to date with ILCA and then <coughs> So obviously we're having a new councillor join, yes. um, obviously um, I presume council training will be offered as it is to all new councillors. <coughs> so obviously we've got 500 for that which should yeah. also be fine I presume. And there is still money in this year's budget so uh, if the new councillor gets of a move on, they can get it into this financial year. It's matching. Uh, myself and Steve are still in there. Okay, I'll come to that in a minute. Well, I think there was a, there was a debate a while ago about having Internal. having them come here as a group That's and exactly doing, just going to bring up, yeah. and mm -hmm. so picking up all of the new councillors. Um, can I ask those who work how that would work with you if we got a trainer in <coughs> to train as many as possible? Would you be able to have time off? Would it be during the working day? Yeah. Last time we did it on a Saturday. Mm. It was, it was a weekend. I'm quite happy to do it on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. I work in Thetford, so having half days is really difficult for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should we say, should we say yeah, we'll have to reach out to councillors to find an appropriate date then? No, let's ask if they can do it on a Saturday. Well, on a Saturday, yes, but it's an appropriate time of work. It's well worth it anyway, so yeah. <laughs> what about you? Sorry, can I just ask you? Sorry, just moving on from the train. <coughs> um, there is an entry on, I might be on jumping ahead, the check and online payment. We haven't come to that bit yet, have we? Which one? Which one? There's two. So the check and online payments. For this one. This one. For the 18th of January. Are you talking about. Oh, I didn't get that one. No, that one says 1215. Are you what talking about that? item FC? That's upside down, down for some reason. Apologies. Yeah, we've jumped ahead again. Yeah, 15th. Sorry, we'll come back. Yeah, but this, there's one down here that says 18th of January. Yeah. We're. Oh, 
Request. I know it's a subcommittee, but you know that's why I declare. Okay, it's got me down for this Seven hundred and fifty is request. What's the first? Sorry, but for the donation. Yeah. No, Large debt is the first aid. Oh, a declaration. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Um. <coughs> Obviously, I have an interest in this one, but I don't sit on this committee either, so, um... Oh, you did. Oh, fair enough. I don't sit on this committee either. Please leave it alone. I'm in favour on one condition that the, on the uh, banners that they, they produce, that there is a parish council logo along with all the other donators that are donating for this event. Um, we didn't ask for it last year, which is our fault in fairness, but... If we are donating money, I think it's only reasonable that we are put on the, the banner like any other donor uh, would be. Gotcha. Um, can I have comments from everybody about this, whether they think that we should uh, donate money to the um, to this uh, dating festival, please? Sue? So, I'll, I'll do one of them. So the first day. Yeah, we did first aid before, actually, didn't we? We did first aid for the kids. Yeah. Um, it's got a little budget this year. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay? How much did you donate last year? Same thing. About that. Well, about 500. About 500, yeah. 750, I think it was. That's what we budgeted, anyway. Mm. But we've got the uh, kiddies and things. Can we afford it? Budget. You've dropped it, but you are heading a fairly good carrier. You've still got 5,000 people. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, I agree. Towards 500. Yeah. Okay. Um, look, well, last year we did
Yeah. The resolution is seven. Yes, but the proviso already said. With the amendment. Yes, with the the amendment. Well, no, because no, there isn't an amendment. No, that was my yeah. proposal, wasn't it? Yeah. Are you in agreement at seven fifty? Yes, I am. Yeah. Can I say anything as part you, of the debate? Um, all, all I would say is that all the everything has gone up. The state is significantly more money this year, and we're we're asking the parish council for the same. So we're we're bridging the gap as such. So I think, in my opinion, I think. We'd like to see that money if we can, because it's the village enjoys it, right? It's a great benefit. Mm. Warren. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Really, I think I don't like the way the house and the house would be all right. Okay, who's going to propose this? Which one? 750. Thank you. Are we going to count the price of the house? Oh, sorry. I, I think a thousand would be good. Because we've been walking around the sale about the prices going up every year. We've only got five. I'm not sure if we can give over the, the application amount, it's a problem. No, uh, 750. Okay, 750. Are you proposing that? Yeah, can we would yeah. like to sit it and Lindsay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got 100% agreement that we donate. <coughs> and that's with the banner, isn't it? Our logo on the banner. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that, but yes, that's a good idea that we must be acknowledged. Also, any, any, anything yeah. we donate to, we must be acknowledged. You know, this is the council. Right. Can I get a copy of that at some stage? So I've got some. The bed is for that. We are on 24.8. Now the bottom's dropped out of the bin. Oh, there is. Yeah, sorry, Lindsay. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Which is very, very There's three different companies now, three different prices, all different ones. So, everybody got No, Jeff got one. That's okay. These are from you, Lindsay. No, I printed them. Oh, right. I, them. I would recommend that we have one always, um, because that one is desperately in need of replacing the one by the school. Okay. There's all different types there, various well, well, prices. The, normal, the ones we've been getting... No, I Oh, it's going to just be green. It's green. It's That's fine. They can be any colour. It's just that, that where I printed it off, I didn't pick the colour. You can pick any colour you like. I just like the one. Just get the same one. That's not everything. Is it the front one? Yeah. Uh, it was a metal slap one. I have a comment. Yes, Jeff. Since the refuse bins now take dog uh, poo, why don't we just get a new reference uh, refuse bin? Rather than getting specific dog bits. There's two there's two there already. Huh? There's two there already. People like to put their dog poo in a dog poo bin. Okay. I know some put them in ordinary bins. I know what you're we saying. Shouldn't there. Choose a dog bin. Some councils don't allow don't like there's labels on the general bin saying mm -hmm. not yeah. for dog no, But this one does no. say it. It makes yeah. some difference. It's all say you can. the same kind of same person yeah. with the same bag. So it's not separate. No, no. That's right. That's done. I know, yes. <laughs> um, I, I agree because a lot of residents, even though the rules have changed, it's still in their mind that they have to put dog poo in dog poo bins. Yeah. Uh, and to be honest, anything that encourages people to pick up waste is, is desirable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the second thing is, in ENA, we originally had a discussion that when the bins, a new bin were put in, we were going to buy a stencil and spray paint on with a, a please pick up your your dog thing on, on and that hasn't really gone anywhere. I, I know obviously we've had we've other things to deal it. with. We went against no, it. We, I, no, we, we didn't. I, no, I kind of think, I don't think we were waiting on permission. I think, I think we voted to pause it until the pet shop came into the village to ask the pet shop to sponsor dog poo bag dispensers around the village and they gave us the dog poo bags to go in the dispenser. So that way, if you were caught short, you didn't have a dog poo bag, you didn't have an excuse 
not to pick it up. And yeah. all of the people that are not dog owners that see dog pools around, they could then get a bag and pick it up and put it in the bin. Oh, so don't. So now pets at home yeah, are opening. Yeah, well, I can yes. imagine people doing Some that. Some people do. Yeah. Yes, well, let's put that on the uh, agenda okay. for anyway, you know. Anyway, 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 that's what metal and plastic, there's a whole What's host that? to choose plastic. from. Yes. So, no, no, so I just want to replace the one at Pheasant Rise by the climbing tree with a bigger one <laughs> because by about a Tuesday that is full to the brim. And I'm the best one of all, I'm not fishing the handy and just pushing down. Right. So, the one at Pheasant Rise where the phone box used to be. Right, There's a dog poop in there. Absolutely right. And it is by the well, yeah. before, well before collection day. Yeah, See, it is well. overflowing with yes. Well, they'll, they'll be collected tomorrow. Mm. So if we could have, maybe if we could put a bigger one there. Can, okay. Considering that they pick up the waste and they don't, they're not Pacific, mm -hmm. can't we develop it so that we get a bin that says both on the same bin? So that we don't have different bins, we just have one bin, dog waste and general waste. Like they do on recycling. There's not a dog in there, don't just put it in there. Why don't we, yeah. why don't don't we, we take don't the dog poop in from Pheasant yeah. Rise, because there is no litter bin at Pheasant Rise, why don't we take the dog poop in from Pheasant Rise, put it on the school field, and replace the dog poop in the general waste bin that takes dog poop and waste? Yeah. You know, the bins that we've got are good. You know, the black ones, right near the play area. The barrel ones. The barrel yeah. ones, which are sealed, they got the label. Why not just get them and put a label on them? General waste, dog waste, and be done with it. Why have all these bins with posts around that we've got to repair when they're rotten? Yeah. As long as it's a big picture with a sign with a dog on, so that people can see it from a distance yeah. type thing. Yeah, why, why not? You know, people put them in the general bins anyhow. So why okay. have separate? Sorry, say again, what are you saying? The bins that we've got near the play area, which are working well, the big ones, Near the play area, the main play yeah, area. Yeah, near the infants and the... Uh, yeah, the one region. where the bottom's dropped out. No, no, no we're talking general rubbish bins. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which are a good size, they hold plenty of waste, got a bag inside, why not use them? Instead of all the dog bins all over the place, have them in place on them. You lay them up dog and general waste. Um, are they picked up by the same people? Yes, yeah. They are. Same, same time, same, same people. people. Oh, I didn't know. If it all goes in the same... Yeah, 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 sure. Why do we pay per bin to have them collected? Yes. Yeah. We do, yeah. So then there is a financial yeah. logic to say, yeah. cut down the number of bins yeah. that they are emptying. Oh, shit. Yes. Because. We've got dogs. So we're buying two bins empty. We're on the same track. We might as well have one bin that's strategic locations with dog gang. So what would we do at that one by the school? Put one of those other bins in. Could already find there. Well, just change the sign. It, just change the sign. Take Get a laminated sign. You and will stick need it on. two bins there. Is it that much waste? Yes. Well, you put two bins, or you find a larger one with the same design. We can also get the ones that Cambridge City Council have. They've got like a wheelie bin inside them. You don't see it because it, it's big, but they open up, and inside it's actually a wheelie yeah. bin. Um, I did speak to South Cams about this before because we were looking at having one recycle bin and one regular bin near the village square because we get a lot of rubbish. But the clerk just put like a bin in the middle. Like, why we're we still doing that rather than putting a regular bin in, I don't know there as well. Because it, it's nice the clerk does that, but really it, it shouldn't be us just putting down a, a temporary bin. It's been there for as long as I can remember now. Yeah. I mean, I think we need to have an agenda item discussing bins yeah. more, more yeah. thoroughly um, than, than we can go into tonight. But that definitely, I think, should be explored. I, I agree, but I, I do think we ought to replace that one with the bottom of hanging well, out. Well, perhaps that one we ought to replace, yes. get it done. Let's get it done, and then we'll put it on ENA yeah. yeah. to discuss bins. Well, the last time we had it, a big standalone one, the size of a normal bin. No, it's that one. It's that one. It's like the size of a normal bin. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. So maybe have one of them in a ball trap of America. You've got more capacity in it. Or just put a general waste bin. Put a general waste bin specific money, putting a post in. Yeah. There's a paste already there, there's a little post. 
But it's a new square. Yeah. Just, you can just get that, um, Mike Watson put in. Yeah. So not long is it since you put that post in? So you, you don't. Some weeks. of them you you can get them without the post, or you can order them with the post if you don't already have the post. Well, we've got the post. <laughs> Well, let's have the 266 one on the second page. Well, no, no that's still the ones that are not. Is that one a metal one? Because they throw. That's oh, the problem with plastic. That, that plastic, 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 plastic one. 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 And then we'll put, oh. it, put it on the paper. Green is the cheapest one that's Oh, well, no, 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 no. Uh, you want to pick one? Uh, 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 what size one? Which? You can say what size that one is. 25 litres. How big is 25 litres? It's not very really big, is it? No, it's not the same size as the original one. But you can, I think on that one, you can get bigger ones. I was just trying to look at different costs, different things. I wasn't entirely sure what everyone wanted. So it was just well, really an you know. If it's the same price to empty a bit, you might as well get the biggest one yeah. again. Yeah, just say get the biggest one. I'll propose it. There's one here. Oh, second. And I have a second one. Um, yeah. Colour green. Colour green. Yeah. yeah. There's some here. There's a hundred and ninety. I know, absolutely. If you don't, then you end up with them, would you? Yeah, you're coming yeah. back here because you have to figure out what the colour is. Most villages. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. yeah, I know, but we've already got the other ones green. Yeah. But, but I agree, um, it looks more prominent. And then you just throw it in anyone. Yeah. <coughs> 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 Two oh nine point two four. Can I hand over to you, Jeff, please? Yes, the uh, first one is just a signage. No material consideration, no comment. That's <coughs> the other one. Is an add on to uh, the back of a bungalow. They're extending the back of their uh, bedroom by about three feet. No material for consideration, no comment. I'll be the glamorous assistant there, is that just a good idea? Yep. Copy that. Yeah. Cost effectively. Could you keep this? Is that a charity shop? Would we have a shelter? It is indeed. Okay, I was right. <laughs> Can I, just, can I just well, say? I hope, I hope there's not an animal shelter going in there. Well, I know it's the animal we shelter. We need more dog poo bins. <laughs> <laughs> animal <laughs> shelter charity shelter. Like the bitch half out. I think there's a surgeon in there. This is going in the place of the card shop. Mm. They have not bothered to, or Planning has not bothered to uh, ask us any view on it, and the clerk had to chase to to say, be able to say something. I mean, obviously. It's absolutely fine and harmless, but they have, not, they have not contacted us as a parish council to talk about it. I mean, to be fair, they haven't told myself either at the card shop. shop. The card shop, as far as they're concerned, are still staying there. Yeah, yeah. that was as well. So the whole Tuesday. thing is, is a bit of a mystery, yeah. really, as to what is going on. I, I mean, I would like to say I, it'd be sad because it does have quite a few local em oh, employees yeah. there, and it would be sad for, for yeah. the that, village. That's nothing to do with it. Sorry, Jeff, carry on. No, that's it. Oh. So, no comment? No comments. No comment. Comment. No, comment. no material consideration. Okay, that both of them. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, on 10.24 annual parish meeting, consider April the 10th as a date for the annual parish meeting and for it to be held in the October. What day of the week is that, please? We normally have it Thursdays. It's, not, it's, 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 it's when we can get it. Uh, that's <laughs> what it is. Um, I, oh, I'm not sure if it's. Uh, it's the tenth. I can't remember Kate was dealing with that. She got it all booked and booked her dates. It's, it's, yeah. it's a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday, right? Does that suit everybody? Yep. Yes, yes, but we'll need to move the E and A for that month then, because that's also on the first Wednesday. No, it's the second Wednesday. Isn't it the second Wednesday? Yeah. 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 There's a second yeah. Wednesday. Oh. Well, I don't. I don't know. I'll look at the calendar then. Well, it's the tenth. It's going to be the third. Was it the first Wednesday? Wouldn't it? Yeah. They, yes. Yeah. Good point. So it would be have to be moved then, wouldn't it? Because it was the second Wednesday. Oh, I'm getting confused. It's, 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 it's the first Wednesday. It would be on the third. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm very mad. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> all right. It's all right, Khadija. Don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good, Khadija. Is everybody in agreement with Why is yeah. the yes. not the main church? Because, because that's where we oh, could go. Yeah. Uh, and residents remember it from every other year we've had it there. Yeah. Has anybody, they're they're quite busy in there and. and 
they're quite good. Yeah. Because it was in the church last year. Well, that's the only reason I was asking. Yeah, it's in the main church. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Does it get caught? Yes, yeah, it, it does. Quite, it? That's, that's all they've got. Yeah, yeah, no, well, if, if, if you would like the clerk to investigate a later date in April, please say so. Not with the thoughts to go into the main church, but it would be good. What does anybody think? All right, I'll come to you. We don't get an overflow crowd, no, even in the octagon. It'd be great to have standing room only, actually. Like it used to. Oh, yeah. The big yeah. problem with the octagon is the acoustics. Oh, Either yeah, place. Okay. Is, has anybody got any concerns about it, please? The, the church hall is huge compared to the octagon. And so when you get in there, and a the number of people have been there, it's going to be like little fish in a big, big pond. Whereas you go to the octagon, at least it looks like it's... Oh, is it the well attended? If we say we we'll check if we can get the octagon down on the fourth Thursday in April, and if that's busy, we won't get a Thursday. We'll do that now. Right, we're going to go to the twenty sixth. Okay. And see what we want to say. Um, okay. Yes, very quickly. Uh, we should also be aware that um, we need to start inviting, uh, obviously, stakeholders in the village um, going forward as soon as we have this date and also to invite them to give their usual statements to the parish council. Mm. I can assure you that Kate is on top of this year she after is, year, yeah. and she, we have no doubt that she will do all of this. So thank you very much, but oh, yeah, Kate will do that. Yeah, she's on that. Okay. Right, we come to 11.24 to consider a, a pro proposal of... Sorry, was that date definitely agreed? I was going to say, yes. do we propose Do you need to Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. I was going to oh, go down. I'll do. Graham, you have to do. And what time would that <coughs> start? Seven o'clock? Seven o'clock. Um, oh, sorry. Yes. Um, councillors, are you quite happy if we just, instead of going on to 11.24, bring up 16.24 uh, from the thing group to discuss the stream work? So you, you're right if we move that up. Swap them over, sort of thing, because it's got a finance um, oh, component yep. in it, and we might have to move, um, we might have to uh, propose money. So um, Malcolm will be able to reassure us that we, yes, we can spend that money. Um, streamworks, very old streamworks. Now you've obviously read this mm. from the group. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Any thoughts, any comments? Um, well, I thought it was um, very broke at the, at the time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't fully agree with it all. I mean, personally, I'd like us to take on the whole thing. What would that, what would that total oh, yeah. if we took on the whole thing in Malcolm? Oh. Well, I haven't seen it. Well, I've seen this, but uh, well, whatever yeah. it costs, that we're just going to because we're going to have to do it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do a quick I think the, the stream is a big issue for a lot of residents. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I also suppose like this, and it's estimated in November, and we're in, for everyone who has really appalling weather, mm. early in January, I think. But it's kind of this price is only held for three months. I think we need to get on and get it done. Yeah. Well, the, only, the only thing will cost is for, without the doing the headwall mm. section is forty two thousand mm. pounds. I think headwall is what we're going to do. In that case, then we're looking at something approaching forty seven and a half thousand pounds. And so, how much have we got right. in this year? What's left in this year, and what's left? What's in twenty four twenty five? Um, can I suggest people? that we get Fen in to do the Brookdale bit as soon as possible because it's 11,400. We currently have 11,000 pounds left in this year's budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if they could do that next week, I'll tell you, obviously, it would make me a very happy man because then I haven't got to carry anything forward. We have something like um, 12,000 pounds in next year's budget. And by a little bit of careful managing, we could do most of the, we could do the water mead, the Brookdale and the water mead piling without any problem, which leaves the holly trees bit, which is 10,000, and the head wall. 
Now, um, what you decide to do on that, but money could be made available, taking money from 2024's budget, or taking it out of 2025's budget, and bringing it into 2024. Can I? Right, I'm going to ask everybody for comments on this, because I don't know how many of you, are you all familiar with the stream and all these no, problems? No, it's not as well, yeah. Other than Graham. Yeah, very well. Yeah, uh, we, we did spend a lot of time with him going through all these bits. So these are very, very urgently needing work being done on them. And although, Lindsay, you said get it done, he doesn't come back straight away. We've waited a while for this. Well, is that, I'm sorry, uh, that, that, that was on. But if we can get him booked in yeah. to start these, if we can get agreement tonight from everybody, if we, we can say, yes, go ahead and do it. He can get all the equipment needed, booked, everything. But we, need, we so, need that one that Malcolm said, urgently done. Because yes. we need to get it in this yeah. budget, and that's what we need to agree on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, we, we can run the money, can't we? If, if we book it in, we can run the agreement. Yeah. Oh, okay, Chief. Yeah. Um, my comment would be, I'd like to propose that we go for the lot. The problem with Ken Group and work we have done in the past is it's cost us a lot more. He, what he does is he brings in very expensive, very large proper yeah. machinery and equipment. Yeah. If you have it done in more, more phases, you've got to wait for him to get the equipment back to bring in, and that's all extra money for us. It's easy <coughs> to put it all here <coughs> and get it done. The yeah. only thing is, is it, all right, it comes to roughly 40, uh, 47 and a half. The whole point of moving on this very quickly, or at least getting it booked in with him, one, we protect the farm. The other one is that we've got £10,000 available to us mm. from South Coast District Council. No, no, it's from the Environment, from, environment. Sorry, sorry, the Environment Agency. Take that back. Um, Hopefully. But that, as far as we're aware, that's going to expire. He needs that off his budget mm. before yeah. the end of his financial year. So as long as we agree with this price, we can put this forward for the 10 grand. So it's going to cost yeah. us actually 37 ish instead if we've already got that 12 we've got, or we've got 20 We've got 27 with next year's yeah. budget. So we're nearly there mm. with it. And, you know, we can wait a bit. I just think, for me, I'd like to propose to just go ahead and book it in. I mean, this has got to go off to Brian Hepburn as well for him to put this forward for 10,000. But with our comments as we, well. From with our comments. But if we don't get the 10,000, we still have to We have still it go ahead. Then we still, we still have to do yeah. it. Then we've paid the lot, which is not a problem. The most important thing really is to accept it and get the invoice in yes. from Malcolm. That's yes. the most important thing. It's yeah. got to be stipulated to him so he can put his finger yeah. out and get yeah. it done. And particularly before the end of the day. Yeah. If we have it, if all right, we, I'm going to go around the whole yeah. thing. If we do it, then if we can have it in March, April, something like that. Yeah, as long as we get that invoice in, that's the thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Well, we can... Well, because we can roll that. Yeah, but rolling over, rolling yeah, fine days, we're going to get smacked over the wrist. Well, yes, yes, I will do that. But for this purpose... We, we need to discuss with him and say... We're agreeing it tonight, aren't we, hopefully? Yeah. So it's agreed, it's not our fault when it gets done. Yeah, but... <coughs> Call the tough. Lindsay? I think we should have it done, all of it done, because I feel a little bit... If I, if I did, so we say we, we're not going to pay for the holly tree bit, yeah, and yeah. then there's a flooding holly tree or someone's yeah, house yeah. falls to the bank, I'm not comfortable picking whose property is impacted and whose isn't. If you've got advice for the whole lot, you get the whole lot Finger done. Finger points. Yeah. Done. Joe, yeah, I think it all should be done. Brian. Okay. How long are we, um, sort of this work, sort of how long before we have to have it done again? Oh, How long is a piece of string? <coughs> I mean, are we talking? Yeah, we're, it's not like I keep coming back every year, is it? No, Three no, years. No, 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 no. So we're talking no, perhaps no, five no. or six years. Well, it's it's longer than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we won't be raising this. Yeah, no, we won't be raising this no, money. We... Yeah. So, so I think it would be a good idea if we've got the money and you know it's agreeable. Yeah, with people we. Uh, we get it all done. And it's like one of the many responsibilities this parish council has for this village 
be responsible for these sort of things. So yeah, that's one of them. Let's get it done. Khadija. Mm. Yeah, I agree with you, Paul. Go ahead and continue. In many cases, Cambridge and County Council normally undertake this work. It's unusual for a village of our, uh, you know, a village of our kind to undertake this work. However, I understand that residents have genuine concerns about flooding, and despite the large cost, the cost to residents if someone were to be impacted because we didn't undertake this work would be far greater. So I agree, it needs to be done. Thank you very much, Jeff. Yeah, I think we should go forward. The, uh, the environment, we know that it's going to be raining more and so forth. This is something that we should have been, we could have been doing for a long time, actually, in little bits and pieces over the last 10 years. I only have one question, and that's the water bowls. We're going to get stuck with that again. Yep. The, oh, the sure water we... bowls, because that, that delayed us doing work last time. No, but Fin Group know where they are. They've worked with us before. Okay. They know exactly what to do with it. Wasn't well, it something about a, a, a bone of contention of word, flailing on another word? And they wrote the one word, wrong word down, and apparently that sent it back. I can't remember. There was, it was flailing another word, and apparently there's one word you have to use and one word you shouldn't. Whatever that was, and I suggest that the contractor puts the correct one in. Graham. Um, yeah, and my only question is, uh, in terms of the 10,000 from the, the Environment Agency, uh, what would stop us getting that? Why, why wouldn't we be able to It's already here on for us. It, he needs it off his books before. Before what? There, there should the not be any reason why oh, he okay. doesn't get it. It's oh. been, yeah. it's been pushing him up for Bar Hill. This is and, and this, this is what we are going to send yeah. him. Sure. <coughs> <coughs> and I'm, I'm and a proposal yeah. tonight yeah, yeah. to go ahead, accept this, and go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Okay, okay. He worries. says it will be more favourable if we accept the resolution. So, a couple of things. So, we've, I really need to go, I mean, it's not been too bad for Pony this year, I think it's been quite less rainfall. In. You, you will look out the back of my window. <laughs> <laughs> but, so we splashed this before the second ground. Does that leave us with any interesting maintenance throughout the year money? Or is that just everything going on at once? So we get Does it leave us with what? Sorry. So we get cut back every three months. No, that is still going to happen. We've got the three cuts every throughout the year. So we've still got the budget. Yes. Yes, that's, that's something separate. Yeah, fully agree, and I think that's, the sooner we get it done, the better. And I think if we get the 10 grand, then... All the better. All the better. Yes. You can get more done quickly. Um, yes. I'm sorry, I'm just picking up on Anthony's point. It's kind of, I think, I, well, it's kind of not rolling back on what I've said, but I can't think we should be looking forward for the future and the fact this is going to keep, this isn't, the stream isn't going to go away and we're going to have to replace this money, get more money in, so we should be looking for other opportunities from the council, exploring now what funding we can get from them and hold it in reserves ready for when we want to do this again so that we're not scrabbling around for the money in 10 years' time. And they are going to be yeah. just bud we should be budgeting for it and going yeah. to anywhere that we can to try and get money it's to help environmental. Us. Yeah. If you look at the stream, I have one other, question. one other question. Is there anything we can capitalise on this? Or is it all maintenance? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like a new... Watch the space, I think. <laughs> Watch how I allocate it when we can actually start getting invoices. So, proposer and seconder. Sue so, and Graham. Yes, <laughs> we're all in agreement. And Just thank you very it. much for staying late and holding us out. Then we'll give them a dog. Then. Mm -hmm. You have got this, haven't you? Yes. Well, that was 100 in, in my 2025 budget. Right. Uh, as soon as we get this in. <laughs> Yeah. The sooner we can get the money, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got this, we can get it in. Right, thank you very much everyone for that. Right, I'm moving back to 11.24. Um, what happened is that um, Councillor Mitchell put in a proposal of a, of a letter. I think, have you all seen it? Yeah. And it... it um, and I said to him, he said he wanted it on FMP, and I said, no way, this has got to go to full council. And so, as far as I understood, it was going to go to full council. But today, Councillor Mitchell has said to me that he didn't want it to go to full council. He wants it to go to FMP first, 
and then from F and P it will come to four, the next four council, which will be the end of the month. Um, but, so as a recommendation, I'd point out, it wouldn't be as a... So it will come as a recommendation from F and P for council in February. So with your agreement, we're going to scrub... Um, uh, 11 yeah, we have a, an inventical discussion about the proposal though because it's kind of I know that there isn't a policy about selling land at the moment and that's a different issue but I kind of think in principle what are the views on the proposal because if in principle people don't agree with it then you, you're going to come back with a recommendation that people are not going to support so you're wasting your time well, Councillor Mitchell feels that he hasn't done background paperwork on this but if you're all in agreement, we'll have an in principle conversation about it. I don't know enough about it to really have an opinion yet. Yes, I, I wasn't prepared to speak on it tonight because I was expecting it to go to F and P at the end of the month, and I hadn't completed my research on the mechanics of how it would work in regards to a sale with the parish council, and of course with an auction. Um, but I'm happy to have a, a, an indicative discussion on it. But obviously, I won't be able to give you the kind of detail that was expecting. The re also the reason it went on FNP first was there's more time in FNP for a smaller number of councillors to discuss and iron out the issues because these letters and what have you are usually in principle so they're usually ones that are a starting block for a discussion between the councillors present in order to come up with a final version. I didn't anticipate that this would necessarily what would be presented to full council in the end. May I do people understand what we're talking about when we talk no. about Viking Way? No. Okay, you tell them what it's about. <laughs> well, the, the issue with Viking Way is it will one day become a very expensive. Um, no, just what is the. What is oh, it? oh, Viking, it's about Viking, Viking, oh, Viking Way is the road that's it's just over there with a, at the end of the doctor's surgery. She knows that. Well, what is it all about? What What is that considered? Not, what is it, you know, it comes down to three words. <laughs> Sorry? It comes down to three words. Oh, well, my proposal is. That we sell Viking Way. Bingo. Um, the, the, the idea being that if we are able to move the liability of the road from us to a, another entity, then we would not at some point in the future have to spend between 80 and 100,000 pounds to resurface that road because we do not receive any money in business rates. We do not receive um, anywhere near enough in an annual preset to be able to cover it. If and when that were to happen, we would either have to increase our preset dramatically that year or take up a public works loan board or whatever interest rate is available then and the residents will be paying it off for a large number of years. Now I understand there are reservations in regards to the potential sale of this land. However, there are two points I'd like to make. The first one is, even if we reach out to these companies, we're not obliged to actually go through with it. If these companies say to us, we're not interested, that's where it ends. Um, if these companies, one or more, say they are interested, there are provisions you can put in a sale. They can cover everything from parking to um, access rights to, to make sure, obviously, the doctor's surgery and then the courts still have um, access rights. But I also know that companies such as, for example, Tesco, certainly would like to maintain access to the land, already contribute some money to the maintenance of the road. And, of course, legal in general also operate a large number of businesses there. So I believe there is an interest there where they may be interested in taking the land or using it for whatever purpose. It's also possible that legal in general, owning several buildings, might want to close off part of the road and make a bigger premises, in which case they might be willing to pay out a significant amount of money for that area. However, I again, these are all tentative things that were going to be coming up in f and I was just going to make a resolution that uh, you propose we investigate the sale of Viking Way. Does anybody? Well, I kind of think there are other options that we should also consider, such as, you know, so who are the key stakeholders in all of this? You kind of got, you know, the NHS, their building is there, it's their doctor's surgery. And I kind of think, why wouldn't you write to everybody that identify your key stakeholders, write to your key, including residents, Write to the other key stakeholders to say this is the issue that we're facing. We own this road, it is a liability of the village. It is not right on residents. So, would the people that use the road be prepared to fund the resurfacing? We have because tried that. In yeah. fairness, we did try that. But uh, with, with the current residents. When? And, uh, you know, because I think. About two and a half years ago, from memory. 
But then, and then it kind of, and then ask if they would be prepared to, you know, where, where can we get other grant money from? Because I kind of think that road is, I know it's, it's not an asset, it's a village liability, but I just kind of think selling a road that has access to our doctor's surgery and potentially putting it into private hands is, I don't even know if that is whether an in principle thing that the council would allow. Well, firstly, there is not what I call precedent, I don't believe in precedent, but there is a, an occasion where we have sold land which had an access rights issue, and that land um, was in regard to the Willows. Um, that's a shared road with the hotel. When that road was, when that building was sold, provisions were made to ensure access for the, the new owner of that building. Um, then, as I said, within law, it is perfectly capable for us in, in, in requirements of a sale to, as I said, allow access to the doctor's surgery, allow access to the clerk for right parking. Right of way. Right of way access <laughs> for those, and also parking access if we so wish. But as I said again, it's kind of the, you know, the, the, talking about the horse before the race. Until we actually get any idea of an indication whether any or all of these companies are interested, that's, that's a discussion you tend to have with the solicitor at a later date when you're thinking about whether we actually wish to go through with the sale rather than just exploring the option. But I, I take your point, and that's a valid criticism. <coughs> it's just one that can be addressed at the right time. But it's not, sorry, it's not meant to be a criticism, it's an observation. Oh, my, my apologies, I'll rephrase that, that observation. The village, it's kind of, I want to make sure that the village maintains access. Yeah, fair yeah. enough, I'll, I'll rephrase that observation, my apologies. And I think maybe that, you know, selling, selling the road is one of several options that are out there at the moment. We're just going down the wall, we'll sell the road. You know, well, there might be other oh. avenues that we could explore. I mean, and that be one of. I, I can tell you the avenues yeah. we've explored so far. So we can we've explored trying to get county council to adopt it. Is it three or four times now, Sue? Oh, more than that. Okay, more than four times. So county council adoption is unlikely. Mm. We did reach out to um, when potholes had to be filled to ask the um, companies that were available at the time if they wished to contribute. Um, our response rate was low, and of the ones that did respond, they were all negative. I think we got 150 from one or something. It wasn't a large amount of money. This is from memory, of course. I would have done the background research for, for, for um, no, the end. They were, there were several willing to contribute. Several, but there wasn't enough to make it. Yes, but we're talking about that small cul-de-sac. Yes, the bottom, yes, the small cul-de-sac, rather than the entire road. Um, so obviously, I mean, if that needs to be done, it's less likely to be the tenants and more likely to be the owners of the building, in fairness, which would be mostly legal and general on that side. And Tesco, because they need access for their vehicles. Some of those are privately owned. Some people. of them are, yes. Um, but obviously I'm talking about the, the main principal players. Of course I know that some of them are privately owned, but I'm talking about the principal players for this discussion. But when you wrote to those people to ask if they contribute, did you say, if we can't raise enough money to service the road, we're going to look to sell it to a private party that will then take ownership of the road? You no, tell them, well, well, obviously not, because that wasn't an idea at the time. Um, but that being said, as a compromise position, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing to state how much we are spending on that road. Uh, um, I'm more than happy to bring to FNP as a discussion at the, the next meeting and have a general discussion on writing to... Um, the owners of the buildings. <coughs> I think perhaps if we hadn't written to the tenants, we written to the owners, you might have gotten a bit of a better response rate than we did in some areas. Because obviously tenants, technically, they're not responsible. It is the landlords who, who deal with things like this. So I have no objection to writing to them and saying there is a possibility of the sale of the land. But again, the parish council would have to agree to the wording of the letter, of which, again, I'd be more than happy to bring back to this committee after discussion. Um, okay, that's given you a flavour of what it's going to be. This is going to be brought up at FMP. If any of you would like to join Anthony at FMP to join in that discussion, please do. Yes, thank you very I will much. provide written submissions if you're unable to attend in person. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, but so but there we are. <coughs> but 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 right. Can I ask the clerk, when um, we're discussing this, I, for some obscure reason, 
I've got shares in Legal and General. Do I have to declare that <laughs> when uh, when we're discussing that? Because yeah. yes. you might be benefiting from it. Yes, yeah. I might be. Yeah. yeah. Do I have to declare that? Yeah. Yes. You I do. will. I will have to. I will declare it then. Yes, please. But I much. mean, thank you very much, everybody. Right. Um, Twelve point two four, the farmhouse to consider an update. Had some interesting. We missed um, one, Bunty. The works. Update yeah. on the works and writing way. Oh, the work. Work. Yes, I think the works on right. I presume that means the pothole filling, my guess is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh about John Cobb. John Cobb, yes. So I'll hand over to the clerk, sorry. I will be booking him, but obviously I didn't want to go ahead and tell any discussion had been made about the raid, but now we're clear on what's happening. And I was waiting for other quotes to come back and haven't, so Do I will be going ahead. Send us for that? Um, well, we've, already we've already done, done that, so yeah. really it was just updating to say that I haven't heard from the other two that, that I asked the quotes from. Will you know when John Cobb will start? No, I'm waiting for confirmation okay. and all that. So as soon as I know, hopefully by... I'll ask you Excuse me. <coughs> hopefully by the next... Next month? I will. Hopefully by the next full council meeting, I should have a date. Lovely, thank you. Um, and also, also the weather at the moment is not... Yeah, and it's, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. So it's really just waiting... Waiting on that. So that that's that really. Okay. Twelve point two four farmhouse to consider an update. <coughs> so do you want to talk about it? Um yeah, okay. Um, myself and the clerk met today the two remaining prospective um residents yeah. tenants I said somewhere could be the worst. Um both the farmers in the very, very keen. Both want to go ahead. Um, they do not want, I've asked them both, had some questions that I, I couldn't <coughs> answer. Um, but what I did was ask both of them to email in with points that we could just quickly, that, which I haven't seen that. In, did you put up those two emails? I've only had one email. I've only one so far. Yeah, and I don't want to do anything until we get the other questions in, really. Right, okay. It's well, not fair to do, you know, yeah, we no, need no. to be fair. Um, what can I say? They're similar businesses. Um, can you tell us the type of the business? They're all as original, virtual. They're all sort of beauty treatments. Beauty, beauty and, uh, and, and that related businesses. Yeah. Were well, these the people that asked for sort of a referendum from the village on the village community site? Uh, I, I can't see that because I'm not From Sway to see. Oh, yes, they did, yes. Yeah. That's, that's them saying that's, one. That's one okay. of them. And the other ones were the original, some of the original girls from oh, that were the, the previous tenants. Right. So, so you've got two groups. Um, everybody's more or less happy with the whole thing. To say they had a couple of questions, they just want clarifying an answer to email me, which they haven't. So, if you um, if apart from that, it's just waiting for. Well, we we it could come down to us picking up basically. They're happy with everything. They all want to go ahead. The, the, Job that it was in, they just want to be happy with the rent as it was. No disagree with the rent. Uh, the only thing they said was one of them asked, Would it be AT as well? Would it be AT? No, no, it's gone now. Uh, no, no, it's no VAT, no VAT. No VAT. Just well, that, that's what I said, but, but I'd check. Um, they were both given the, the copies of the lease, so no, one, if they wanted to go to their solicitors. Yeah, one asked for. Um, they've talked about break clauses, both of them. But then we've got break clause and they've got break clause, so it doesn't make any difference. They both accepted that answer. Um, Would the contract be for a year? Or is that minimum? No, no, we would go for five. Oh, would we? Okay. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. The break after when? Three. Normally. Well, it didn't stipulate. Okay. It doesn't stipulate, it just says within the break clause it's one month. Because we've had we we've had, okay. we had it for the yeah. uh, the previous tenant, you see, so we tend, I assume, to use the same <coughs> contract, just change the name sure. because his point is drawing up yet another um, yeah. and spending more on that. <coughs> there, there were other various questions that that are not of interest that <coughs> <I'm> <coughs> for. Mm. <coughs> Um, in, in terms of time frame, do, does it need to come back here for us to vote on? Because that's obviously another well, month that goes it, by. And yeah, I was hoping goes. it'd be tonight, but, but they haven't yeah. had their answers. And does it need? Do we need to agree? We will need to vote on one of them. 
Well, no, no, I'm just get, you know. But what I think we're going to now have to delay until next month's meeting because until. Uh, Not necessarily. Can we call it? Well, we could have an emergency mm. meeting. Well, what I was thinking was you could tag it on. F and P is going to be coming up soon. You could tag it on just before an F and P meeting for for just that item, fifteen twenty oh, minutes. Yeah. Well, that's up to the council to decide. Wouldn't that be? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't, want to, I wouldn't want to delay for a whole mm. other month no. just because, you know, if we're waiting for an email from someone who'll probably sure turn up tomorrow. Well, I'm just going to just want to clarify a couple yeah, of things. Yeah, no, and that's fine. Obviously, there's silly little points, but after yeah, that, no, sure. that we're going to ask the tune yeah. which falls in our court virtually. Fair enough. I mean, I speak for myself. I'll fight for you. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we should move on that, then. I don't want to, to change the leasehold because that's a pain, but if we could get both uh, the, the party that finally decides that we choose to make sure we've got something in writing to us, say they would be happy to have the defibrillator on the side of their building because that's I did, still. I did mention that to the first one. Yes, yeah, so as long as they're happy with that, you don't need yeah. it in the lease, you can just get a. What's our building? Yes, yeah, well, you can just memorialise it. Some. In some, it uses their electric, so technically speaking, it, it's fair to ask them. Again, it's a minimal amount. It's like a mobile phone yeah. charge amount. It's nothing that's going to financially impact them. Yes, and, and in coming to the closer discussion. And can I ask council for your agreement now for us to be able to book somebody to look at the guttering, somebody to look at the electrics, somebody to look at the essentials, so that we know that we're ready to go. Yes. But to get the work done um, as soon as possible. Do you want to take preparatory yes. actions? Yeah. Can I have a proposal with a second word? <coughs> <laughs> 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 just want to get things done. Oh, yeah, you're in the middle of it. That is to is say that we get all preparatory work done I in preparation for all of the. So I can yeah. go ahead and build yes. the builder, find yeah. an electrician, they, and get people. I'll give you the name of the they both, yeah. person. Both parties said they want to decorate themselves. And oh, that's it. Because they want it their way and they want to do it themselves. Provided provide they agree to reinstate at the end if necessary, it's but it's in the contract. In the contract. Are you in agreement? We give them a month. Yeah, yeah. we'll need yes. a yeah. documentation of what the status is. Pre-renting, you know, if, if the okay. electricals are like this, the roof is like this. We want so to know it's done to our yeah. standard. And no, but I meant we yeah. need to have Photos. a record of what it is. Yes. You didn't have one. Photos or time. whatever, but yeah. No, we well, we're going to look at the damp issues. Photos and inventory. Yeah. Photos and inventory. Yeah. Yeah. I've got video. Yeah, it's got good too. Interestingly, neither party's actually asked for a rent, a free rent at the beginning or anything. Yeah. Both happy to take it in. No, one day, didn't they? Yeah. Well, that would be considered at the letter stage. Well, they mentioned, was it possible, didn't they? I think we mentioned to them, didn't we? Yeah, well, I think if it's there, if, if they're going to decorate, we'll decorate. But we, yeah. we can, yeah. as long as we get all this work, so it's yeah. ready to go, mm. that's fine. But let's say, we have to have another meeting now just to clarify their couple of yeah. points and yeah. points. And we're well, I think done. council is, is happy for us to deal with. Cool, next ordinary meeting. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Just just the, we tag it on to yeah. another day. Yeah, one That's one. absolutely fine. I think co to go to your Or, you know, anything. Yeah. Mm. Well, we, we are recruiting new members. <laughs> right, and it's very on now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Village Fate 013.24 oh. says the request, the, the normal yearly request to use the Village Green for the Fate are proposed as still seconded. Anybody in disagreement? Not disagreement, just make sure it goes on that village green calendar as soon as possible. Yep. Because yeah. otherwise, some of you cricket or something, oh, I'm not sure they won't, but they might book it. Okay. Same and conditions. One four point two four office IT equipment. What's this that we've got? Oh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, Windows 10 um, is coming to the end of its life. Oh, not no. this year, but it is. And anything on Windows 10 will no longer have security. It's urgent now that needs work done. Well, it's just we need to we need to authorise the I prepare for it. Yeah, we need to authorise I you know get a quote to transition it over to Windows Is 11. Is this something we asked Neil about? Yes. yes. Okay. Which is often uh, we'll bit. tell Carlos. May I have a proposal in a second? <laughs> Seems <laughs> obvious, but <laughs> Joe. Sorry, who was it? Graham and Joe. G H. Right. Graham G H. 
<coughs> you know about computers, do you, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> All over Windows. 15.24 yeah. committee membership, invitation for councillors to join committees. We have ENA, we have F&P. Staffing. 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 Who wants to join those? I'd say we're a person down in F&P um, at the moment. Yeah. If one person isn't available, then it can have problems with being core rate at the moment. So we really do need an extra person. Please consider it. When is the meetings? Whenever we are got, that's a, well, no, that's the thing. After April, they're going to be a fixed date, like the rest of the meetings are. The problem we've been having is, and again, you're absolutely right, Carla, is a fixed date means people remember when it is, people um, will be able to set it aside in their diary like they do for the other meetings. It's just um, Carla and Kay had to find a way to find a date that was suitable. Um, it's because you because it comes before the full council, yes. but we have to have enough days to get the agenda out. So it has to be three clear days, so that we have to, so there has to be enough time between the FNP and the next full council in order to, for that to happen. We had said the first Tuesday of the month. Yes. Basically. Carla is going to email around later on, not immediately, but email around uh, for councillors to let them a, a list of dates, which could work, and then the majority of councillors that can attend, um, that will be the date that will be chosen for the new fixed date. Um, the, the idea being that um, it was a collaborative process and that uh, a date that everyone could use would hopefully be provided. Um, can you also remind us when the date of the next FMP meeting is via email? Because obviously not everyone here is aware of it. In fact, I can't even recall the date of it, and I set it. <laughs> the 31st, I thought it was the end of the month. Yes, it is the end of the month. Yeah. 31st, is it? Yeah, I think it's the third, is it the last? No, I thought uh, January, I thought the 25th was the last Thursday. I don't it's think it's the Thursday, it's Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Oh. Yeah. It was a Tuesday because of the, right. so the time. Right, work then, yeah. So that should also be when we set this extraordinary meeting, if it goes ahead as well. So please set the agenda for uh, half an hour later for mine, so that there's half an hour for the extraordinary one, please. The, um, the 31st is a Wednesday? Yes. So everyone should be aware of that date for the extraordinary meeting as well. And um, this brings us up to 17.24, the exclusion of the press and the public, where we have to ask the public to leave the meeting. Uh, uh, sorry. Just <laughs> 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 